Hey, 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 Aries. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your November 2019 intuitive love tarot read. This is the Golden Dawn 15 card spread. Each section comes in trinities. There's five sections. So the first trinity is representative of you and the rest usually is remains to be seen because it's it's different every time I do it depending on for the sign or the person I am reading for so as I go through each trinity I will clarify using the witch's tarot deck for you all so let's get started Aries we have the hanged man in the center this is the card of Pisces and this is also a card of waiting so it seems like you are waiting for something to happen and you're waiting to take action and I believe it is an apology you have the Emperor and you have the Prince of Cups flanking the hangman in the center the hangman <clears throat> like I said is the card of Pisces the Emperor is the card of Aries or Taurus and the Prince of Cups is Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. So <clears throat> you want to take action on something. I believe it is an apology. It's, it's like you want to apologize to somebody, but you're waiting. I'm not sure why you're waiting. We're going to find out in one moment. But the Prince of Cups is indicative of offering a apology and with this apology I feel like there's an offering that comes with it I'm not sure if it's a gift but it's some sort of offer that you're offering to the person that you're apologizing to the Emperor knows what he wants he is also a leader. He or she, it's just masculine energy. The emperor knows the direction they want to go in. They know who they want. And in this case, that's what I'm feeling. You know who you want. You know the direction you want to go in. But something's holding you back. So let's find out what this is. Because I want to know, Aries. So clarify the hangman. Why is Aries waiting Clarify the hangman. And like I said, the center trinity is representative of you. The strength card. Ah, oh, Aries. The strength card is the card of Leo. This is also the number eight. Uh -huh. This could be a twin flame. We have eight. If you add it to the 12, which is a three, that's an 11. Eight, 11 is twin flame numbers it seems you need the strength and the courage to actually come forward and apologize slash offer this to somebody which is very strange for the Emperor because the Emperor is a man or woman just masculine energy again of action the Emperor really doesn't need strength the end the Emperor and you know embodies that within him but, I mean, the emperor is human, right? So something... Okay, tell me about this emperor. Why does this emperor need strength? Justice, another twin flame card. This is definitely a twin flame. So justice, which is the number 11. Okay. You add this to the 4, that's a 15, that's a 6. Balance. Balance. You're trying to maintain a balance within. It could be of the masculine and feminine, especially if you're a twin. You may want to embody the masculine, a healthy balance of masculine and feminine before you come forward to your twin. The Justice card is a card of Libra. It is possible that this is a Libra, your twin. Or an Aries or Taurus. The Emperor is Aries or Taurus. But I feel that the Emperor is, this is more you. You, well, you are Aries. Things are in balance between the two of you. And it's something that you want to balance out with your twin. And I'm just saying your twin because 
that's what I'm feeling. It doesn't have to be that for everybody, but that's what I'm feeling, and the numerology is telling me that as well. So clarify this Prince of Cups. What does this emperor want to apologize for? What is this apology for? Hmm, death. Interesting. We have some synchronicity going on here. It's in relation to your karma. This is karma, right? Yep. Okay, death. Death is the card of Scorpio. Scorpio is about transformation and it's also the number four four is about home and family transforming the home the family something to do with transformation of either your family or you and your twin as a family clarify this uh, this is the card of aquarius this is a star card a wish a desire you want to be with this person and it's another eight you want to be with this person and you're apologizing for not transforming into the person that they maybe wanted you to be. It has something to do with transformation of you, transformation of possibly uh, you and your twin as a family. But this is also about healing. And this could be what you're waiting for as well. In order to balance the masculine and feminine within Aries, we do have to heal. And this is something that you are cognitively working on, cognizantly working on. Mercury is retrograde, so bear with me. And it's three in the morning. I am a night owl. Yes, I am. And I love it. Beautiful moon out tonight, actually. Speaking of uh, night owl. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I was clarifying before I even told you this trinity over here. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next trinity here. And the next trinity tells me what's going on in your head, Aries, psychologically speaking, about this uh, person, this situation, okay? It digs a little bit deeper. So in the center of this trinity, we have the Seven of Cups, Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. To the right of that, we have the Eight of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. In the Wheel of Fortune, we have Fire Energy. And this is the Wheel of Karma and also the number 10. Tens are about beginnings and endings. And this is something that I'm feeling strongly here as well ending something to begin something new that has to do with the trans transformation within yourself okay okay there's a bit of confusion surrounding this situation because this seven of cups okay there's a bit of confusion, but you're also dreaming about this person. See, the confusion lies, this is clarified by the Queen of Swords, and the confusion is what you're cutting out of your life. What do you need to cut out of your life? And this goes back to this death card, this transformation. What is it that you need to transform? When we transform nine times out of 10, we're cutting things, patterns, behaviors out of our life, right? People sometimes. The Eight of Wands here tells me that you're looking to act. You want to act on this but you're not the center card is the strongest the hangman is waiting is stagnancy you are looking at things situation from a different perspective but you suspended yourself in this position purposefully and you're just waiting 
only you can take yourself out of it. It's sort of like an... <clears throat> I'm sort of feeling, believe it or not, that in Eight of Swords energy, Eight of Swords is sort of a mental imprisonment because I do believe this hangman position, you can cut yourself down off this tree, right? And just take a chance. So... The Eight of Wands, you want to act. And on the other side, with the Wheel of Fortune, you're not sure of the timing. This could be another reason why you're waiting. It's like you're waiting for multiple reasons. Hence the Seven of Cups, your confusion. And the Seven of Cups, right, also talks about options. So it could be different options that you're choosing from. But again, it's all coming down to timing. You want to time this correctly. And you're confused as to when this will actually be. What is the right timing? Is there ever a right time? Right? Okay. So let's clarify this Eight of Wands spirit. Okay, I didn't even ask a question, but okay. Four of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. Again, a wish, a desire card, mimicking the star card over here. Now, the Eight of Wands is the arrows of love. This is passion. This is messages. This person could be at a distance. It also talks about distance. You could be traveling. But again, it's like you want to act, but the timing, you're wondering about the timing. So you're holding back with this Four of Pentacles. You're holding back on this wish and desire. But you're not going to be able to do it for long. It's like this is too strong. I'm feeling this. You've got the Star and the Nine of Cups here. It's, it's overwhelmingly strong, I'm feeling. Clarify this Wheel of Fortune. Why aren't they not sure of the timing? Hmm, the Queen of Cups, okay. You're not sure when this person will be ready for you, open to you. Queen of Cups is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Or this could be somebody that's holding you back. Clarify the Queen of Cups. Is this somebody holding Aries back? Is this the reason why they're waiting? This one. Hmm, Seven of Pentacles. See, waiting. Waiting. But clarify this Queen of Cups. Clarify. Who is this Queen of Cups to Aries? Yep, the reason for the waiting. Hangman. Hangman and the Sun card. You could have a family with this person, a person of the past. Also, the number 10, right? It's 19, breaks down to a 10. It's on top of the Wheel of Fortune. Timing. The Hangman. So. This Queen of Cups is the reason for the waiting, the reason for the holding back in non-action on your wishes and desires. Okay, so as this energy continues, Aries, it will naturally flow into this next trinity. So with this next trinity, we first have the Queen of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have the Nine of Swords, Ear Energy, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is very strong. Wow. And the King of Wands, Fire Energy, this is you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this is you. Okay, this is the person that you want to act on. This is the Eight of Wands here. Okay, this is who you want to go towards. This is whom you want to offer this cup to the Queen of Pentacles. But you have major anxiety and fear over it. The Nine of Swords is anxiety and fear. Sleepless nights, nightmares. 
and that is in the center of this trinity the king of wands you want to rush in the king of wands is fast the king of wands is fire he is uh fun i love the king of wands because he's he's the funnest guy in the deck he's very sexual he's very good looking he's very alluring um he knows what he wants he's confident and he and he goes after what he wants but this anxiety is holding you back because that's not where the king of wands comes from that's why i'm saying the emperor here try to embody that emperor energy try to embody your own energy and stop with the anxiety and the fear you've got to throw that out the window it's an illusion the anxiety and the fear if you desire something if you want it bad enough you just do it the emperor just does acts he acts or she acts just masculine energy okay so let's call um <laughs> i was gonna say qualify let's clarify the queen of pentacles that is the uh, Mercury in retrograde speaking. Queen of Pentacles, energy, clarify. Yeah, the fool. You want to take a leap of faith to this Queen of Pentacles. This is your energy again. Aries energy. The fool acts. Leap. With, he acts without looking, right? The emperor almost does the same thing. He sees what he wants here. I'm just saying he because it's masculine energy. He sees what he wants. That's mine. I'm going to get it. Doesn't think. Doesn't overthink. This is the anxiety and fear. Let's see where your anxiety and fear is stemming from. Where is, what is this anxiety and fear stemming from? For Aries in relation to... This love. <laughs> the Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen of Wands. Same person? Okay, same person. Okay, this person could be an Empress. Only because they say this is the same person. They could have fire in their chart. This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That's a half Empress, right? And just like the King of Wands, the Queen of Wands is very good looking. You put together the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles, wow, right? The Queen of Pentacles is just below the Empress in my opinion. She's very nurturing, appreciative. She knows how to make things grow. She knows how to build something, build businesses. The Queen of Wands is great with ideas, acting on ideas, is confident, alluring, sexy, um, fun in the bedroom, just like the King of Wands, right? Happy. So your fear, but what are they afraid of besides this queen? What about this queen are they afraid of? I gotta dig deeper. This one? The Two of Cups, offering, offering the cup. Rejection. That's what they just said. Rejection. The Two of Cups is soulmate twin flame energy. And they're afraid of rejection. Or you're afraid. So tell me about this King of Wands. Why isn't this King of Wands acting? What is holding him back besides this anxiety? Tell me more about what is holding this King of Wands back. Tell me more about what is holding this King of Wands back. Tell me more of what is holding this King of Wands. This one. Ha! Huh. The Ace of Swords. This is truth and clarity. Okay, you you know that you have to come forward with the truth if you're going to offer this person something, right? The Ace of Swords is all about truth and clarity. And in this case, it's surrounding love. So you are going to need to bring truth to this union. And that is also part of your anxiety, telling the truth. 
You also have another, wow, another connection to this karmic section over here. Very interesting. So you've got two out of the three cards already out here that's in your karmic section. Very interesting. Okay, this section over here is a continuation, Aries, of your future of the section I just uh, read you. Excuse me. Ah, I'm getting a cold. I can feel it. My throat. Okay, so this is a continuation of your future. So first we have the Four of Swords, Air, Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, almost like the Hangman, where you're taking your, uh, you're taking a break, you're piecing out. I'm a little confused. Does the King of Swords act? All right, the saying yes. I'll get back to that. And next we have the Eight of Cups. This is all about walking away. Walking away from someone, something, or it could be patterns of behavior. And then we have the Four of Wands. This is very interesting. The Four of Wands is the 1111 card, Twin Flame card, Marriage card, Commitment card. So you will be committing to somebody, but I'm a little confused because you've got the Eight of Cups here. It could be a walking away from this Queen of Cups that, that is holding you back. Not sure. Let's clarify. Clarify this Four of Swords. The Knight of Swords. Okay, there's some communication that comes in. And this can be harsh communication. And because of this harsh communication, you sort of peace out. You peace out to heal. It could be from a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Okay, so clarify this Eight of Cups. What is it that Aries walked away from, is walking away from? Time is fluid, right? Okay, both, both of these, one of these, this one. Mm. Three of Swords. Heartbreak. This is what you walked away from. Oops. Okay. Oof. I just felt a... Um, that was weird. Okay. Two of Pentacles. I was just going to say, clarify this Three of Swords. And it's two of pentacles, another two. It's, it's talking about balance. It's possible you could have had to decide between two people. It's possible that you were juggling. It's possible somebody walked away from you because they found out that you were juggling. Okay. Clarify this four of wands. Oh. Clarifying the four of wands is five of pentacles. Feeling left out in the cold. Feeling lack. Feeling abandoned. It's like being abandoned at the altar. With this wedding card. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Again, I want you to clarify the Eight of Cups. Who is Aries walking away from? Is it a person? Besides heartbreak? Who? Who? Okay, I don't know if, well, I can get another deck, yes. Okay, I'm going to go back and clarify that. They wanted me to use another deck to clarify that. So I'll continue on here, and then I'm going to go back to ask questions over in that section. Just to clarify that a little bit more for you, this is interesting. The karmic section, why this is all happening, why all of this? drama right in this karmic section we have in the center the ace of swords truth clarity regarding a love situation 
also can mean cutting things, people out of your life that no longer serve you. Now, like I said, you had the Ace of Swords that was clarifying you, the King of Wands here. Okay, being fearful of telling this person, um, this Queen of Pentacles, the truth about something, right? To the right of that, we have the Eight of Pentacles, another Eight. The Eight of Pentacles talks about working towards something, working on something. Could be in business, but could also be in love. And I'm feeling in this situation, it is love. On the opposite side of the Ace of Swords, we have Death. And the Death card is the Scorpio card. We are in Scorpio season right now. This talks about transformation, rising from the ashes, right? Um, transforming our foundations. This is a four. It's a 13 breaking down to a four. And remember, we had the death card here that was clarifying the Prince of Cups. And it was next to the star, if you remember. So within this karmic section, we have a portion of you, which is the center. And you actually, it's all you. It's all you. It's all connected to, like, literally who you are. Okay, so let me see what they have to say about this karma. Interesting. Okay, this is interesting. Um, what they're saying is that in a past life, okay, there was something that you needed to work on. And I'm feeling it was the self, okay? Now, when you think of twin flames, too, the twin flames are one soul split in two. Everybody has different opinions, but I believe, I do believe, it is one soul split in two um, within this same existence, this, this reality, right? And then when you come together, it's sort of you balance each other out, and it's complete. So in this lifetime... There was a lot of truth that you didn't face in the past. There was transformation that should have taken place in a, pa in a past lifetime that didn't. This could have definitely been surrounding a twin in a past life. It's possible that you should have gotten together in this past life and you didn't. But there was some sort of transformation that you needed to make and you didn't do it. You didn't want to put the work in to do it. And this is your chance to put the work in for this transformation to take place. Let me see if there's any other um, information. Clarify this Ace of Swords, please, for this past life. Karma. Clarify this Ace of Swords. Huh. The King of Swords. And the King of Swords cuts things, people, out of their out of his life, just masculine energy, that no longer serve them. This is also could be a judge, a lawyer, it could be something legal. Right? But this king thinks logically, thinks very logically in relation to, well, anything. If he's the king of swords, could be love, could be business. But he's very intelligent and very witty. So this truth could have involved a king of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, in a past life. Huh. Wow. Clarifying the Eight of Pentacles is the Three of Cups. The 
the Magician and the Page of Swords. Okay. Okay, I feel in this past life you were a female and this King of Swords was a third party. Because we have the Three of Cups um, on top of the Eight of Pentacles. You split your energy between two. And one of this, one of these people were the King of Swords. The magician was putting an illusion, a facade up to your, I don't think this was your twin. If your twin was in this previous life, it was somebody else. But the magician, it's like you tricked somebody or you attempted to trick somebody into because you were hiding a third party situation. <clears throat> but somebody found out with the Page of Swords here. Clarify this death and you didn't come forward with this truth. It's so interesting because that's exactly what's going on here. Well, I don't know about the third party. Well, you got the Queen of Cups over there. So it's probably the same situation. Clarify this death. The Wheel of Fortune. You gotta love synchronicity. Timing. 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 And this is the Wheel of Karma. The Wheel of Karma either goes in one direction or the other. Now, what direction that goes in is always up to you. Wow. What was the result of this lifetime? Did the truth come out? What was the result? Four Aries in this lifetime. The Emperor. I'm feeling very, very lonely existence. Because I'm getting like a reversed emperor type, um, a reversed emperor. I don't read reversals, but I'm, everything has a positive and negative aspect to it, right? With the em this emperor, this feels very, very different than the emperor that was in the center here, okay? This feels like this person is very cold, ruthless. Almost like a King of Swords uh, reserve, uh, reverse type energy. Just really an asshole, <laughs> to put it bluntly. Forces his way on others. Forces his <sighs> power. Uses his power in the wrong way. Uses his power in the wrong way. So I feel the result of this was a very lonely existence. There was no love. One more card on the results, please. One more card on the result, please. One more card on the results, please. Okay, on this result for this past life. Five of Cups. Sadness, yeah. Like I said, lonely. It's like you didn't see the Two of Cups that were right in front of your face. Notice there's a group of three. And we have the Three of Cups here. Third party. And then there's two. And in the Five of Cups, not even looking at the two. Okay, you want a different deck for this. Okay, I have to clarify this. We're going to go back to this section over here for the extension of the future. If you remember, we had the Four of Swords, the Eight of Cups, and the Four of Wands. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask about, I'm going to, I'm going to go through it and I'm going to clarify again. So clarify this Four of Swords. Why did Aries peace out?
the Eight of Wands. Interesting. Four of Swords is non-action, right? Peace and out. Eight of Wands is the fastest moving card in the deck. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Blocked communication. Blocked communication. That's why. So this Queen of Pentacles could have walked away from you because of heartbreak. The block communication caused you to go in inward, right? Peace and out. And they walked away because they knew you were juggling. Okay. Clarify this eight of cups. You get a lot of eights here too. Clarify this eight of cups. <laughs> Three of swords, yeah. I think this queen of pentacles walked away from you. Okay, four of um, wands. Clarify this four of wands. The sun. Oh boy. This is a card of Leo. This is the happiest card in the deck. With the sun clarifying the four of wands and the five of pentacles, I mean, you've got the happiest card and the saddest card in the deck. This is a Taurus card, by the way, the five of pentacles. The sun card is a Leo card and talks about a past life. And I believe this queen of pentacles thought that you would be um, in a, at least a long-term committed relationship. And they felt abandoned. Clarify the, the sun. Let me ask it. And I need to ask this question another way. Because they're telling me I'm not asking the right question. So I'm like, okay, what is the right question? Um, I know you're screaming at me right now, like, ask this question. <sighs> okay, I am going to leave this section and I'm just going to ask the question, what does the future hold for you in this Queen of Pentacles? slash possible empress, right? What does the future hold? What does the future hold for Aries and all of these? Okay. Yeah, I told you. Empress, Taurus, Libra energy. The Prince of Swords the world card, and the two of wands. Interesting. Okay. The empress is expansion. It's the Taurus and Libra card, right? And this talks about building. This talks about, and I asked what the future holds for you two. So it is possible that you could be coming back together, building something together, expanding together, nurturing the relationship but the prince with the prince of swords <sighs> communication you could be communicating with them again um, communication could open up the two of wands you could be at a crossroads for a little but you do see them in your future and with the world card, you this person could be at a distance from you with the world card, but a, a new cycle will be beginning with you two. It is also the number three, because it's 21, and three is all about manifesting, and the empress is a number three as well, right? So you could be dealing with a fixed sign, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, or Aquarius. 
Um, again, it does talk about travel. It's possible you could be traveling with this person or they're at a distance from you. But this is about what the result is in the future for you. So I'm going to get a clarify the Prince of Swords. Okay, Ace of Wands. Yeah, this is, well, communication definitely opens up because Ace of Wands is a very phallic symbol that is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So the passion will be reignited between the two of you. Clarify. Whoops, the Two of Wands. Temperance and Justice, another Twin Flame card. So Temperance and also an Angel, right? Temperance with Patience. Uh, this is Patience, an Angel, looking over the Union. This also talks about change as it's a 14 breaking down to a 5. This talks about balance. And justice talks about balance, and so does the two of wands. So justice, again, Libra, this talks about karmic justice. So there will be karmic justice in all of this. Balance will be restored. And utilizing your intuition. Um, they want to stress utilization of the intuition. So I am just going to clarify the... Did I clarify the two of wands? Hmm. I think that was the clarification for the two of wands. Okay. Well, so, I mean, the future does look promising. However, there's some shit you gotta go through. There's some shit you definitely have to go through. Now, remember, time is fluid. This could have happened in the past, could be happening now, could happen in the future. It's all fluid, but it's all meaningful. <clears throat> Let me get some advice from my fairy guidance deck for the Aries. Can I have some advice for Aries regarding this situation? Confidence. Yes, see? this waiting here excuse me I don't have my glasses so confidence confidence is having the belief in yourself to keep you going in the self-assurance to get you there so have confidence Aries act stop waiting act don't let anything hold you back we all have free will it's all a choice and get another one for you. Have another card for Aries, please. Another card. Spirit. Spirit is a flow of insights into the true self. Get in touch with the self, especially being in this handman position. Okay, take advantage of this Piscean energy and reflect on the self okay ask connect with your higher self connect with your higher self that's what I'm feeling from this card okay Aries I hope you resonated with that I hope you have a great November please drop a like below share and subscribe if you already haven't comment on this video if this resonated I want to hear your story I love interacting with you guys I'm really liking uh, getting to know you all better and um, conversing sharing ideas right so you have yourself a great November please stay tuned for my mirror gazing that will also be coming soon uh, and card gazing that I do to also offer you some more messages and insight if this did not resonate. You have a good day and I will talk to you next time.